Thanks a lot, Larry. Quite an analytical one there. But let's get more perspectives from Kaya de Ogundamisi. He joins us now via Skype. He's a social commentator from London. Thanks a lot, uh, Kaya de. Now, what are your thoughts now on this election that uh, produced a uh, hung parliament? Some have said that the pri this is largely the prime minister's undoing. What are your thoughts on that? Well, thank you. The prime minister on own goal. That's what everyone has been describing here. Uh, no one gave uh, the Labour Party leader, Jeremy Corbyn, any chance at all to... He was supposed to be a, a white part of the Labour Party because the opinion polls uh, about a month and a half ago uh, did predict that um, the Prime Minister's party, the Conservative Party, were going to have a mandate of about 100 extra seats. So I think um, uh, the candidate, Jeremy Corbyn, has galvanised new young voters, uh, first-time voters and people who look deep and uh, are bitter are, are quite not happy with, uh, the, with the Brexit result and felt hey, we can't give um, the Prime Minister absolute power to negotiate um, on behalf of Britain. Now let's get further understanding. May fail to achieve her goal of forming a majority in Parliament. Now what does this mean for the Brexit negotiations? Well it means that when uh, uh, Theresa May says that um, uh, it's either uh, no deal or I walk away. She can't do that anymore. Uh, she's 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 just hanging there. She's uh, she's she's forming a coalition government. Uh, she just had to get ten about eight seats to be able to actually approach the queen to to govern. So if she's going into uh, negotiations with the EU, she would have to carry. A, uh, the opposition party along. Labour now has about 40 percent, and they've they've increased their their mandate in the in the House of Commons. And uh, other parties, who of course do not want a situation whereby uh, uh, UK would um, get out of the EU, close its borders, uh, run an isolationist policy. They are able to now uh, put a stop to the Prime Minister's almost uh, right, uh, extreme right wing. Uh, attitude of just saying, you know what, yeah, it's either we get out of the EU completely and then shut our borders and just uh, make it an issue about migration. I think she's going to hit a humble pie because she's got to actually consult with other political parties. The reason she called that election was to have absolute mandate, absolute majority, so that she doesn't need to consult with uh, opposition party. But now she's got a clear signal from the uh, Remain uh, populace in the population, an opportunity for young people to say, wait a minute, this is about our future. And uh, we want a globalized uh, Britain where the EU are part a pa a parcel of, uh, of, of the global village and the young people send a clear signal through hmm. Jeremy Corbyn's party, the Labour Party. Yeah, yeah, quite a tough one for the Prime Minister at the moment. But what would you say were the factors that uh, affected the outcome of the polls, given that the Conservatives were confident that they would have an outright majority even before the elections began? Well, I think she, uh, first it was the manifesto. The mani it, was, it, it was a shock to everyone that there was the, the issue of dementia tax, uh, which was going to tax uh, the inheritance of um, elderly people. And that actually caught uh, the vote of the conservative. They usually do strongly among elderly people. And when you're saying that they cannot live more than 100,000, uh, they will be taxed uh, 100,000 and above, it was quite confusing. And the, the term dementia tax, you know, just got around among voters in, in Middle England. And then the young, young people came out, uh, the manifesto of the Labour Party, especially with the introduction of, with the, with the uh, promise of tuition free. Uh, if you go to university, you don't need to pay uh, tuition once you leave and you, you, you're a British citizen. That really rang well with a lot of young people who have, who have piles of debt as a, as, as a result of uh, students' loan. And then there's a movement called the Momentum Movement. They made use of uh, social media to counter uh, the, 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 the right-wing media, the Sun newspaper, the Rupert Murdoch platform, that sort of endorsed the, uh, the, the, the prime minister and, of course, ran a lot of negative campaign against Jeremy Corbyn. And, of course, uh, Jeremy Corbyn himself, the character of Jeremy Corbyn, he ran a grassroots can, uh, campaign. He met with people. The prime minister was a bit aloof. Yeah, she comes. Out, she sometimes come across as a bit too stiff, and some people describe her as uh, look, uh, coming across as mean. So a lot didn't work well for the for the for the Conservative Party this time around.
All now, right. you, you talked about um, Jeremy Corbyn's younger voters who have sent a clear message that their future, uh, the one they want is one of an all-inclusive uh, Britain with the European Union. But uh, the popular belief in Britain now is that Article uh, 50 has been triggered and there is no going back. How do you reconcile this? Yeah, everyone has accepted that there's no going back. In fact, um, Article 50 is a reality. But the issue here is that no one wants to add Brexit. A Brexit that would uh, deprive uh, young people from exploring and be able to get into the market, the EU market. It's a Brexit whereby the issue of the common common trade agreement will be looked into. And it, it's, it's, people are just thinking, look, you, you can't isolate, you can't take the, the United Kingdom into the Donald Trump era of an isolationist policy. So young people who are quite innovative, they receive a lot of grants from the EU. The, 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 the message they said across is they have the reality that you cannot have another referendum this time around. But if you're going to negotiate, you can't go with, uh, with some, you have to go with the level that you have to give and take. And it's, just, it's not a matter of you just take, uh, once there is no deal, you walk away from the EU. So that's the message from the, from the young people. And of course, uh, if there is another election call, they weaken the position of the prime minister and it's not quite clear how she's going to survive the next one year. I suspect there might be a fresh election, probably during or after the, uh, the EU negotiations. Mm. And we'll wait to see how things unfold in the UK. Kayode Ogundamisi, social commentator, thanks a lot. Thank you.